Do you own an instant pot? Would you like to learn how to make delicious, restaurant quality refried beans? If you answered yes, then this video is for you. While growing up in Visaya, California, my favorite restaurant meal was chicken enchiladas with rice and refried beans from Las Palmas Mexican Restaurant. Refried beans in a can, although a convenient substitute in an emergency, simply can't compare to the flavor and creamy texture of Mexican restaurant style refried beans. In this video, I'll demonstrate my method for instant pot refried beans. Okay then, let's get started. I begin by rinsing two cups of pinto beans, then adding the beans, seasoning, and six cups of water to the Instant Pot. The seasonings I'm using today are a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of cumin, half a teaspoon of onion powder, half a teaspoon of Mexican spice blend, one teaspoon of chicken bouillon, and one tablespoon of chili powder. I'm always experimenting with my beans. In the past, in my Instant Pot refried beans, I've included Hatch's green chilies as well as jalapeno peppers. With the jalapenos, I cut them in half lengthwise, remove the seeds, then broil them. Finally, I dice the jalapenos and add them to the beans, seasonings, and water. I've not used Rotel chilies yet, but I will sometime in the future. With all the ingredients in the pot, I set the timer for 40 minutes, and sometimes in the past, I set the timer at 60 minutes. Once the pressure pushes up the little red button, the 40 minutes countdown begins. Cooking at 40 minutes or 60 minutes will both produce well-cooked beans. What I've noticed is that with 60 minutes, more of the liquid is absorbed into the beans, which I prefer. Once the 40 minutes is up, I let the steam release naturally, and the Instant Pot goes into keep warm mode. Once the beans are done, I place a bowl in the sink, a colander in the bowl, then pour the beans into the colander. Then I return the beans to the pot. Now it's time to add one half teaspoon of salt, one cup of the liquid, and let the hand mixer work its magic.
I tasted the beans to ensure the right amount of salt, which they had, and I assure you, these refried beans taste as good as they look. I like to store my refried beans in small containers and in the freezer. And today I have some for lunch. Thanks for watching this video and make it a great day.